G'day champions, this is just gonna be a super quick video on how to make your jets smaller for your carburetor. You're probably asking, why would you wanna go smaller? Well, um, often when you're modifying a motor, you'll put a much bigger carburetor on that motor and the jets in it will be massive for the capacity you're running and you may need to go smaller. You may not be able to buy jets smaller for that carburetor. So I'm just gonna show you how to solder the hole up and re-drill them out. I'm basically going from a 1.1 millimeter hole in the middle of this down to a 0.95. I've already tried a one millimeter and it's still a little bit fat, a little bit rich. Uh, this is the main jet. So we're just gonna go a little bit smaller. So this is a jet, we're gonna solder up the hole. I'll show you how to do that, it's very easy. And then we can drill it out. And yeah, just thought it might be a great skill if you guys are looking for smaller jets, you know, simple and easy. I'll just show you how to do it. All right, you can see the hole through the center of this high-speed jet. I've just run my drill through the center of that. Same size, I just scraped it in and out a few times just to make sure that the brass in the hole where I'm gonna be soldering is nice and clean. The solder will adhere much better to it. You don't want grease or old petrol or anything like that in the hole where you're gonna be soldering. So what I do is I grab some flux, soldering flux, just normal normal solder for electronics and that sort of thing. Just get some down inside that hole. And I'm just using a normal blowtorch. You gotta make sure, you, you can even do this on a hot plate or something, you know, sit it on a hot plate, let it heat up. Um, solder melts very, very low temperature compared to other things. So you don't need to get it too hot. You need to make sure that you don't heat this up too much because the brass itself will start melting. So we just want to get it hot enough just to melt the solder down into the hole. So that's probably it. So that's the bottom of the jet there. You want to be able to see the solder basically fill the whole hole. Okay, so I've now drilled the solder down to the height where the jet size hole is gonna start. So you can sort of see the standard one has a big hole down to where the jet hole itself starts. So I've drilled both of those back to where they need to be, the depth that they need to be. And now I'm gonna drill my 0.95 millimeter hole through the center of that, and that will be a 0.95 jet. I use number drills or I've got a, a mini set as well that is metric. It's always important to, I always check my drill bits with a digital vernier caliper just to make sure that I'm drilling the right size. So this one's basically just a hand chuck mini chuck. I just will hold that. It's pretty old school, but I mean, it's only drilling solder, so it's not, it's not overly hard. There we go. So you don't want to ream it out any more than the drill size. So that's it. We now have a 0.95 jet. You can see the size difference there. That's a 1.1, that's the original jet. I tried a one, now we're going to a 0.95 and I can work either way, but I think it's running not too bad on the one millimeter. It's just, yeah, quite fat still. So give this a go. I might need to go somewhere between the two. All right, hopefully that video was helpful for you guys. If you are going to a smaller jet size and you can't find, you know, a standard jet you can buy that's smaller, very easy to solder up. I always put my jets into a little Quiplock bag. I've written down the drill bit and where I got it from in the micro box that you know I've used in this jet and also the micrometer measurement. My micrometer showed 0.92. I'm gonna give that a go. I always whack them in because it's very easy to forget what you've done you know, a week or two weeks down the track and what the jet actually is. So. Keep them in their bags, very easy. Also run a book 
um, for each motor I'm tuning as to what jets affected in what, what way and that sort of thing. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. All the best. Cheers.